Sega. It was the sudden appearance of a warp storm at the Kaurava system's outer edge that first caught the attention of the Imperium, and not just the Imperium. After hundreds of years under the neglectful watch of the Imperial Guard, nearly every force in the galaxy would descend upon the planet of Kaurava, bent only on domination and victory. Three races had long dwelled in there. The Imperial Guard, its supposed rulers. The Orc tribes of Kaurava II, which the Guard had never successfully put down. And the Necron, who had slept undisturbed for untold millennia beneath Kaurava III. Where the Chaos Marines came from, or how, none you can say. Did the Warp Storm bring them, or did they bring the Warp Storm? Both appeared suddenly on Kaurava IV, and in an eye blink, half the system's Imperial forces were gone, killed or claimed by the madness of Chaos. In quick succession, the others flocked to Kaurava. The Space Marines, the Imperium's super soldiers, descended on Kaurava II, planning to finally cleanse the system, both of the troublesome orcs and the Chaos Marines, the sworn mortal enemies. The Tau appeared next, not far above, on one of the planet's moons, in the interests of protecting its ordered empire from the effects of human folly. The Tau came seeking to contain the Warp Storm, and in so doing, expand the territory's border. On their moon, they built a mighty fortress and there forged a space cannon capable of interplanetary devastation. Among the wastes of Kaurava III, the Necrons, perhaps awakened by the disruptive forces of the Warp Storm, slowly massed their lethal legions. In quick response, webway gates, long unused, flickered to life, and Eldar poured forth, ready to battle their dark, death-dealing adversaries. Meanwhile, in the shadow of an ancient portal gate, the Dark Eldar slipped stealthily out of the murky depths of the webway. They would be like carrion birds, flying above the battlefield, and when all were weary from the fight, make the battlefield into a feasting ground. Last to arrive, and perhaps most to be feared, were the Sisters of Battle. Holy Maidens and Bearers of the God Emperor's Faith. They had come to cleanse the system of corruption and filth. Their faith, 
left them fanatical, unafraid of death and zealous in the cause. Nothing here was clean. All must be purged. Now, war rages anew, and only the victorious may write their history. Only the victorious will claim the planets of Kaurava. Welcome to the single-player campaign of Dawn of War Soulstorm. These tutorial windows will guide you through the first two turns of play and introduce key features of the Dawn of War campaign mode. Your goal is to conquer all four planets of the Kaurava system. Each planet is made up of multiple territories which you will conquer one at a time. The campaign map is your primary interface for directing your troops' strategic moves. Individual battles are fought on the smaller scaled battle map. This province is your stronghold or home territory. It is from here that you are launching your conquest of the Kaurava system. If your stronghold is ever conquered, you will be pushed out of the planetary system and lose the campaign. Since this is the first turn, this is the only territory you currently control. The enemy factions each have their own strongholds, identified by banners on the campaign map. To win the campaign and make the entire Kaurava system yours, you must conquer all eight enemy strongholds. The icon of your commander indicates the current position of your main army. You can only attack a destination that can be reached from the province where your army is, so its position on the map defines your options. The enemy factions each have armies of their own, and also can only attack adjacent territories. Some of your enemies may have powers that allow them to move in different ways, so be wary. This screen provides you with a snapshot of your progress in the Kaurava conflict. It includes a running tally of your conquests, your commander statistics, your honor guard, and more. If you haven't yet trained an Honor Guard unit, or you've lost one in battle, you can train it on this screen by simply clicking on its icon. As you conquer more and more provinces, you'll be awarded pieces of special equipment for your commander. This equipment is called War Gear. You will never be awarded a specific piece of War Gear. Instead, for each award, you get to choose one piece from the list on this screen. Note that you may have to get some pieces of war gear to unlock other, more powerful versions. show you where your army can move or attack this turn. Red arrows indicate attacks into enemy provinces. Green arrows indicate moves into friendly provinces. Since this is your first turn and you only control your stronghold, you must attack an enemy territory. To move to or attack, left click to select that province and then click on the attack or move button in the right panel. Begin by attacking one of the territories adjacent to your army. After moving or attacking, you will have to end your turn in order to move or attack again. This screen shows you the forces you are leading into an attack and allows you to return to the campaign map if you decide you don't want to attack yet. 
since this is your first attack, most options aren't yet available. When you're ready to attack, just click on the attack button. This will load the actual battle where you will face enemies in a game of Dawn of War. By playing as the Sisters of Battle, you possess the power to build forward bases. Before any attack, you may purchase buildings in addition to Honor Guard units. Purchased buildings will be present at the outset of the battle. However, unlike Honor Guard units, they will not travel with your commander into other fights. Conquer enemy strongholds to obtain the racial powers added to your own. It is a judgment. We go! We march to the hymns of the Ecclesiarchy! Adepta Sororitis, prepare to serve! heresy and mutation! We command dread and awe! Humble missionary, here to serve. I am consecrated to the Imperium. Adepta Sororitis, prepared to serve our father and guardian. It will be ours! Sisters of Battle reporting. We know our place. Our faith is unyielding. Claim it for the Emperor! I humbly The point is orders. ours. I serve. Bill for the call confirmed. I have made it holy ground. With my commendation. Emperor, inspire me! The point is ours. Command dread and awe! I am a servant to the Emperor. I remain pure. I humbly await orders. Build protocol confirmed. Sworn ever to your service when at peace and when at Strategic war. Strategic point taken. Our Emperor gives us strength. I serve the Sisterhood. Our faith is unyielding. I humbly await orders. Your will be done. I serve the Sisterhood. Be it your will. Your I will serve the be Sisterhood. Done. your will to specification we command dread and awe I 
serve. Immediately. I serve. Many wars have we served the Emperor. We have excelled at battle. We are servants of the God Emperor. The best fulfill our ranks. It is a judgment. Claim it for the Emperor! The battle will soon be joined! They have committed the ultimate heresy. but the faithful perish. Point secured! I serve. I am the king for that. We command dread and awe! The best fulfill our ranks. Thou shalt not. It is a judgment. With we command God. dread and awe! Strike them down! We command dread and awe! I am in
Emperor, inspire me. We command dread and awe. Go, go, go! Witchcraft, heresy, and mutation! I am a servant I to the Emperor. Emperor! And the dominion of this place in thy name! We command dread and awe! I am consecrated to the Imperium. I am a servant to the Emperor. Hymns of the Ecclesiarchy! 
Emperors have we served the Emperor. What can I do? Which rap? Heresy and mutation! I remain. I serve the Emperor. Witchcraft, heresy, and mutation! your will. Immediately. I humbly await orders.
sworn to the secrets of the death cult. I go hence. I am death. I remain pure. Let me be a beacon to the lost. Pledged to the Emperor's creed. Congratulations, you have conquered your first province. This victory has given you several rewards, including a piece of war gear. Every territory yields a certain amount of planetary requisition per turn. Additionally, many territories provide special bonuses, such as honor guard units. Look for bonuses in the right-hand panel when you select a province. The honor guard are special units that can be trained to accompany your commander in battle. Purchase Honor Guard units from the Commander or the Attack Screen. Take note that if you lose the territory that provided you with an Honor Guard unit, you will lose the ability to purchase that unit. Other provinces will grant small resource bonuses for battles or contain ancient gates that allow travel between the planets. This is the territory you've just conquered. Notice that it has changed to your color and that your army is on it. Whenever you conquer a province, your army moves there. You can only move or attack once per turn, so your turn is effectively over. Next turn, new provinces will be open to attack. When you are ready to let the enemy factions act, click on the End Turn button. Each of the enemy factions will now act in turn. Like you, they each have their own strongholds and armies. They will each move their armies or attack and reinforce their territories in turn. Pay attention to where your enemy's armies are. Armies will reinforce nearby friendly provinces under attack, bolstering the defense with additional troops. act again. You'll notice that you have gained planetary requisition from the provinces you control. Each province produces planetary requisition every turn. To garner your full allotment of requisition, you must maintain supply lines. This means that all territories must be part of a chain of territories that you possess, tracing back to your stronghold. Use planetary requisition to reinforce your provinces by stationing troops and buildings there and to train honor guard units. 
To reinforce a province, simply left-click on a province you own, and then click on the Reinforce button in the right-hand panel. 